so, you know, I can't fault his, you know, his uh-huh. decision. I can't fault, yeah. his, fault his choice because, like I said earlier, a lot of parents did they live their lives to their kids, right? Because otherwise, why me? Why I don't deal with person? Why I don't choose this person? Me, uh-huh. say now, obviously, you know, you cannot ignore the counsel of the parents. No, of course not. You can't do that. You can't do that, right? They're still your parents, and at least would like to assume that they want the best for you, right? Uh-huh. Hi guys, welcome back. This is a fresh episode, as you know. Same thing, always reactions, you know, fresh videos up and all that. Again, I want to just take this time out, you know, appreciate you guys for the love, always coming through, watching, subscribing, commenting, sharing, and all of that. Really, really do appreciate. That will help us to go a long way. So today, as you know, we are reacting to, frankly speaking, or rather now is the honest bunch now. Yeah, so we are reacting to the honest bunch and the topic is marriage without parents approval are you going to get married to someone that your parents don't approve of or are you not going to get married to the person what do you think about that today (laughs) it's a bit um it's sort of like a gray area Mm. there's no right answer there's no there's no wrong answer if you ask me Uh but i mean obviously um marriage is a big deal and this is my take on marriage. Personally, I always feel like, um, okay, what's it? marriage is supposed to be um, an institution in which you, you, you do it for the rest of your life, right? Sure. So you come of age, you find somebody that you love, you want to share the rest of your life with this person. So, I mean, it's only logical. Anything that you, you're going to spend the rest of your life doing, mm-hmm. yeah, it's a no-brainer. You have to put a lot of thought into it. Mm-hmm. And... Um, It'll serve you better if everybody around you or if everybody that you genuinely care about is on board with that choice. Mm. So I don't think it's a very smart choice for you to decide to spend the rest of your life with somebody when other people that... Because remember, before you decide to have your own family as a man or a woman, you know, or as an adult, you also part of a a family first. Mm -hmm. You know, we're all born into a family, whatever the circumstances might be. You know, you have a father and a mother at the very least whether they're together or not, single parents, household, whatever the case might be, married, divorced, however you look at it. The ideal scenario, what's the first unit of society? Family. The family, right? So these are the first people that you're introduced to in the world. So, I mean, they should matter a lot, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So whatever decisions you're going to take, that's going to affect you for the rest of your life. I think um, it serves everybody better if, you know, everybody gets along with everybody's on board. Now, the question is, well, would you go ahead with the marriage mm-hmm. if your parents don't approve? Yeah. You know, let's you know, let's, let's go back for a bit. <laughs> What's the reason? There has to be yeah, a reason. Fair, yeah, right? yeah, sure. That's the reason. That's to be a reason. Mm-hmm. So it's not just a question of oh, okay, don't marry this person. Mm-hmm. That's to be a reason. Yeah. Right. So, well, if the reason is legitimate, mm-hmm. if the reason is logical, yeah. if you can articulate the reason, mm-hmm. yeah, I can see reasons as to why. Sure. But if you're just like, don't marry this person for the hell of it, mm-hmm. okay, then you really do have some explaining to do. Yeah, and if sure. you cannot convince me, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I might not be inclined to listen to her. Yeah, yeah, it's true, true, true. I think like this is the first time we've had <laughs> no opinions or something <laughs> from the job because like it's fine like you can have your reasons as to why you know if you, whatever you do even on the chess board like if you're playing chess someone standing you can really see the move the next move but you're there confused you know you don't know the right move to go to so if as my parent i come home with someone i'm like okay this person i've known this person for a minute i want to get married to this person and you have a reason contrary to my choice that's fine you can have that you can have your opinion okay why it's definitely going to be the wife factor, you know. So mm-hmm. why are you telling me not to marry this person? And just because oh I'm from here, she's from there, you know, like just very dumb reasons. Then, oh, but but because regardless, it's still that matter still did. Oh, you still, you still, it's still hard. But if you can't really give me a concrete reason, then mm-hmm. come on. If I make any decision, you shouldn't be. Because mm-hmm. you know, okay. So here's the thing, right? Um, you do realize, like, generally speaking, in Nigeria, mm-hmm. we have this whole thing where, like, we say marriage is not between two individuals. Nah, but yeah, people feel that way, but... No, no, it's actually... Boy. No, it's not a feeling. It's That's the way it is. In Nigeria, marriage is supposed to be between two families. 
Yeah, actually, in a family they marry. Right. So in a family they marry, we tell you now, family even when they do uh, introduction and all the you know all the ceremonies family you know, marry. surrounding marriage, it's more about the family. Yeah. Not the it's individual. Not, yeah, sure. Okay, when our two don't meet each other, when our two don't like each other, if the two families be agree, you see, the, the, then we go fit talk about okay. And one other thing is two of you. But you know, say the word the reason why people now they even consider the whole like is who I want to marry. None of my parents um problem or whatever it is is because now people live but um, we get 30 states for nigeria we mm-hmm. get states where it'd be like no man land we have abj we get lagos we get port we get those type of places right so now people come from different ethnic societies and then they come together but if you grow up for states for instance predominantly where everybody where they there like everybody's are there everybody you know this whole community thing they go on mm-hmm. bra like you go still follow the norms where they go on there. So if you are in Lagos, for instance, you go meet one girl from Lagos. You like the girl, you don't date the girl. You bring the girl, come her. Mm-hmm. Now when you bring her, come her, they don't say, oh boy, no, we for our place, we got married from here. It becomes difficult, you know. But people they out there, without reason, I say, it no matter. You grow up for Lagos, so it no mm-hmm. matter. But really, mm-hmm. this matters the day, the, the, the hard. Because especially like, we they very, very multilingual for Nigeria now. And, oh boy. If your parents both of them are from the same tribe it even makes better sense for you like mm-hmm. you know to say okay you won't marry your tribe but if you have or rather if your parents are from different ethnic uh, background mm-hmm. then it's easier for you to come and say now nah, they bring you from another tribe from if both of them are from the same ethnic background oh boy the chances that they want you to marry someone from the same place they're very high you know so when you go bring another yeah, person so come i think this stems from you know um I, well again nigeria is a very ethnically um, diverse country mm-hmm. so i don't know if this applies everywhere else in the country but you know see normally when people want marry mm-hmm. they get what they call devil's advocate yeah so typically you come you tell your parents okay you've grown you're a man you want to get married who's this girl okay you, you know explain who she is naturally where mm-hmm. she's from yeah you know okay so you, you, you do understand that Nigeria is a country where about 70% of the population live in rural areas. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sure. So the vast majority of Nigerians don't have the luxury of living in Lekki. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, sure. You are this your Lekki. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know why they always talk about Lekki? Let me tell you the honest truth. Lekki to me is the like it's the best, it's, it's, it's the embodiment of everything that's wrong with the country. Child. No, really. Okay. You know why I say that? I'm, this is not like, you know, to... I mean, Lekki is a beautiful place, I guess. Yeah. You know, it's probably one of the um, the, the richer suburbs in the country. Mm-hmm. But again, like I said, it, it's basically the symbolism of everything that's wrong with the country. You have um, not necessarily, you know, the best facilities. They have mm-hmm. problems of flooding every mm-hmm. year. The traffic is terrible. You know, um, insecurity has become a problem right now. Um, you have police raids all the time because apparently everybody in Lekki is allegedly a Yahoo boy. You know, all those different things where they go on, you have overpriced, overpriced, like hugely overpriced apartments, you know, rents that are just not sustainable. Like literally everything that's wrong with the country. That's why I always use Lekki because any bad example where you want to use mm-hmm. they define any situation where they go up the country, yeah, yeah Lekki, you can use Lekki gone. So yeah, that's the whole point. <laughs> but like I said, so the vast majority of Nigerians don't get to live in places like that. Mm-hmm. The vast majority of Nigerians don't live in an Ikoi or in BI, yeah. you know, or in um, uh, VGC, you know, or Banana Island. Most Nigerians live in rural areas, Yeah, you know. So, well, if most Nigerians live in rural areas, that means we all have, you know, the vast majority have the same, you know, values when it comes to family and marriage and all mm-hmm, these other mm-hmm. issues surrounding yeah. them, right? So, ideally, in that scenario, we always used to have, I mean, the tendency then was for you to marry from the nearest, you know, mm-hmm. you know, clan or the nearest community because nobody can get the luxury to travel, go all these different places. Now, obviously, times have changed. Technology is different now. It's a different world out there. Yeah. I always have conversations with my dad and obviously we see um, a lot of things from a different perspective because mm-hmm. they grew up at a time where yeah. the country was a certain way. Mm-hmm. But as it be right now, mm-hmm. about Nigeria up to the the same like that of even as recently as 20 years ago. Yeah. It's a lot of differences. So now people always feel the need to, like for example, you see all these society weddings, yeah. right? Everybody wants to spend money where they don't get mm. to have like a society event, you know, that's only going to last a few hours. And then they have to deal with it. No, that's true now. How, how long yeah. your wedding won't last? 
Yeah, know, yeah. Some the people they want last. like the wedding ceremony. How long does it want to, to last? Like mm-hmm. three hours, four hours at the most, or so everybody don't go out. Mm-hmm. Then you will commit yourself to these society weddings. Will it, will it do as should yeah. be now? You will buy as should be five hundred k. One and most times the parents right. no the, the parents most times the parents want you to get married to this just for themselves right yeah you know, most times to have the whole so, but, like i was saying like um, it's just we all used to live in this little community where if you want marry uh-huh. that devil's advocate now uh-huh. they will send them they uh-huh. can go find out the family history yeah, yeah. The, you know all that stuff yeah. about this person now if you go if let's say you're Igbo and you live in Lagos, you won't marry your girl uh-huh. you understand Somebody will come from, <coughs> excuse me, somebody will come from your community, from your village. Mm-hmm. We won't travel all the way to Lagos, go find out about this girl family history. Mm-hmm. It would be very, very difficult for them to find out the truth yeah. about this person. Yeah. So, in most cases, that was why most ethnic groups would be like, don't marry outside of mm-hmm. your own ethnic group. Because yeah. it's easier, the cultures are the same, the traditional mm-hmm. practices are the same. Mm-hmm. But more importantly, they're very conversant with that society, with that yeah. community. Yeah. Say, they can easily send the devil's advocate and they cannot be deceived. Yeah. They will get the real information because mm-hmm. information matters too. So if we're talking about consent, like family consent, if a person say no marry this person, you're a person no marry this person. Do you understand? Mm. Hey, you guys get why now. Yeah. And the why will come from the information where this Advocate, advocate, don't advocate, break up, advocate don't go break up. Now, if yeah. that guy get false information, yeah, and your mama they act on that information, mm-hmm. saying make you no marry this person based off of that information, this person don't bring up now, then you have a problem, yeah, right. So that's why they, they always insist, like, okay, you marry from this community. That way, we can always guarantee that, okay, we know this family, we yeah. know this clan. There's a long history. Yeah. Once you go to the community, anybody where you ask, ah, uh, you will know, say, okay, this information really gets legit. Yeah. It's valid. Yeah. Now, but obviously, like I said, times have changed. People don't want to move around. You know, there's you know technology, the social media. We drive everybody drive bands now. You know all that <laughs> stuff. So like, it's very easy for you to get from point A to point B. So a lot of all the stereotypes mm-hmm. that we used to have when they say ah, this will be like this, that person be like, I don't marry from this. We get why this one, that one. We tell you, yeah. ah, no marry like Kaya women, no this yeah. one, mm-hmm. no or over women like this way or that way. Or they will tell you, say, ah, you're about women like this way or that. You know all those different stereotypes that we yeah. used to have no longer hold sway so the younger generation now if they look say ah i want to feed the lagos meet me for lagos don't go mind yeah you understand mm-hmm. and when your parents say no now the reason is always not necessarily valid or mm-hmm. legit mm-hmm. Uh, because if they, they use the typical stereotypes we know as a reason ah no this one are Igbo or this yeah. one are Yoruba. Yeah. yeah in my opinion in that situation of course you can ignore yeah you understand mm-hmm. i would like to get your concert as, you know, as your child, yeah. But if your only reason I say, ah, it doesn't come from here, yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's exactly you understand. Yeah, exactly no, point, we yeah. should be able to have a very, very rational conversation where you will explain to me why specifically this particular individual will be in my life for me to even consider. You understand? But I understand where they're coming from because they come from a different time. Yeah. Right. So some things they don't just feel understand. That'd be. You understand? That's how me as a Catholic, you get. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But your family can look the long line. Can't look, say, you know, in the interest, in everything, you know, go walk. Okay, you know, say, so, uh, will yeah. they take this in too far? The actual far, let's bring it down. You, my guy, me, na babe, you carry me, go meet your mama. Your mama mm-hmm. look me first eye. It no like me. Because it happens. You can just see not like me. Like I mm-hmm. greet her, she look me down. Mm-hmm. And every day I try to impress her and she, I'm seeing she doesn't like me. Baba, I'm not going to marry you. So not liking somebody, does it actually make the person a bad person? No, I'm not go- if, if you can't convince your mom to like me, there must be a reason she doesn't like me. And marriage is not, okay, so, it's not so, to date okay, something. So it's like is, a life is l- long direction. something. I won't marry you. You get me? This is another direction. Mm. Right. This is- okay. So why is first of all... <laughs> Why is it that every time somebody is talking about uh, parents not liking the girl, mm. the child is supposed to marry, the mother they talk about? And that dangerous, <laughs> that the dangerous mother here. Why, so. why they never put the father inside the mother? Yeah, so this is another guy. Say, For instance, now he don't even talk about the papa. No, <laughs> what the papa to not like him? Papa, all this, all this toxic masculinity we did talk about. Now yeah. women just project their toxicity on us men. <laughs> we all know that now there be the problem when it yeah. comes to this sort of situation. Mm-hmm. Now the mother in laws fathers don't care. For the, well, yeah. I'm not saying. Yeah, yeah, but then yeah, yeah sometimes fathers do they get the point. Like, yeah, I don't but, like this person. Yeah, but generally yeah. speaking, fathers are cool. Yeah. Now mothers, they, they, 
like the Wahala <laughs> just to know, people just they, they want the everything, they want the chukma at inside, they want the yeah. want everything. You know, say about and this is why I, um, I think this, this is one I one think that. this is the thing, right? Mm-hmm. For our mothers, this, this, their generation, man, like they be not get besties, man. they don't get anybody. If we talk about women, we being they very true. Like the other video we had the other day, where we talk about you don't see faithful relationships. Maybe now our mother has time then. <laughs> we could feel reason that kind of pattern. But now you could see these women, the mothers in the the only thing they have that their children talk to. Mm-hmm. That's basically it. So they, they look the girl where they are picking, they marry as their own daughter. Right. Where go come, they go deal with them and all of that. You see, mama go to call you every time. Say, guy, show up. Come to, you know, mama go to call me every day now. You know, you know, show up and all that kind of stuff. Right. Now, I feel that's why mothers are very particular about that. You know, the only problem <laughs> with me, I get, they say, yeah, like, like the girl, what they bring, come give you now. You understand? Yeah, like her, may she be like your daughter for you. But most times, you know, the mothers go, once, okay, I need the girl, where they follow me, they do everything, what they do. Guy, yeah, that's the joy of our mothers, who. If you marry woman, we could just carry out. If even woman are going to give them, <laughs> you know, go even get wife. Just marry for them. That kind of thing. So I feel that white mothers are very particular about the whole. The guys like the girl. The girl guys, the guy come from my place. God, you know, those funny, funny things like that. Because yeah. that's actually the major reason. So far, one, no. Mm-hmm. Predominant than the fact that, you know, come from my place. You know, come from my place. We mothers get. If now all these high uh, people like or one bear, right now the reason is that ah, this girl family don't get money, they don't come do or one bear or party or you know that kind of a thing. Yeah, but this mm-hmm. now one of the issues where you would definitely be here as a parent, no grief, parent, no grief. So this is the way I look at it, right? Mm-hmm. I think it's a very big problem, mm-hmm. and I think it's something that maybe nobody, well, not a lot of people, not enough people. Let me put mm-hmm. it that way, not enough people talk about. It. Yeah, you see, one thing why I've noticed, right? Mm-hmm. A lot of parents, you know, they try to live vicariously through their kids. Yeah, sure. True. And that's a big problem. Mm-hmm. For the most part, by the time your kid comes of age and is about to get married, mm-hmm. you're pretty much, like, your, your life is pretty much done at that point. Yeah. You're either about to retire on the verge, you know, of retirement or you're already retired and, you know, you're, you're basically just, you know, praying to live an otherwise healthy life until, mm-hmm. you know, it's time for you to go. Right, you know, but a lot of parents will agree. Mm. Like you're a full grown adult, you're about to get married, and your parents will still be look you as that toddler with them born True. twenty some years, thirty years ago, mm-hmm. thirty some years ago. You understand? Mm-hmm. They still look at you with those eyes. Yeah, you understand, and that's a problem because when you try to live vicariously through another person, then you will begin make choices where you say not necessarily suit that person, but you know suit you instead. Yeah. And you know the, the the things you want might not necessarily align with the things that you know they want or yeah. they imagine you should want. Right. And that, that that's where you start to have all of these different clashes. So, um, interference. Obviously, you would like the input of your parents, right? Because mm-hmm. like your parents, at the end of the day, yeah. I mean, experience-wise, they should know better. Obviously, you're yeah. about to get into a situation where they've been in an in ideal, right. Right. In an ideal years, scenario. Yeah. They don't be in that situation for years. They've had yeah. experiences living mm-hmm. with a different, you know, partner with a husband or yeah. wife, as the case may be. But like I said, when you start to want to live vicariously through your kids, mm-hmm. then you go come and realize, say, oh boy, maybe your kid, you're picking like, you know, things with the available in 2023. You know, you, you like things, like things with really really the available exactly. in Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know. You understand? <laughs> you are doctors in Nigeria right now. <laughs> and right now. <laughs> All right yeah. now, boys are liking yeah. things that yeah. were not available no, in the no, day. No, no, so no, now no. you see so, how now. This is not where yeah. we should have come up with that. So. Oh. <laughs> and the problem know, be that you know. know. Yeah. You don't know. Oh. We had it. Talk about it. You get it? <laughs> yeah. If you don't, you don't get, get it, it forget, forget about, about it. it. <laughs> so the problem so, I mean, that's the problem. That, yeah. So yeah, I mean, they all make very valid points. Very valid points. But I get her as well. But like, you see, is it for coming from the part that she's even a girl? I can understand with her perfectly because, guys, be very if you bad leave, idea if, if you leave, marry that guy bra, when the mother in law has made it very clear from the jump, say, so like, I know the you yeah, understand you know, because as a know. babe, Baba, like yeah. for guys, even they easier now. You go to the girls' house, you, you marry her, you pick her out from the girls' house, take, take her, her to away. Your house. So now, you as, away the, you as the girl, we come. Yeah, now you the marry come. Now. They go first carry you go family house first. Now. Mm-hmm. And now you don't marry wife, so you bring the wife to family house first. You go first day there. Now culture comes into play. Most mm-hmm. of the things where people they talk them, they make them look as if no, they're not. Their culture is big. 
You get some culture where you, but if you marry from there, you will go there. Nobody will assist you. Mm. You will cook for everybody for the whole entire land family and all that. And these are things where you must do. If you like live for anywhere, if you come back where you marry, you will follow the same line. You will never tell us. So you go marry this babe. She never li- probably leave. Maybe you meet her for Lagos anywhere. Mm. She never leave that Lagos space. Now you carry mm. and come out, travel, go another place, go deep. Mm. You see how now? Mm. You leave her for house. If the mama no like her, mm. obviously the sisters no go like her. Easy. If she too trying, I just maybe one we just gonna lie. You get her kind of so go they very hard on the girl. So I can understand her point very well that mm. boy, the mama no like her, mm. but she will leave her. So that's what and that's exactly what she said. If you cannot convince your mom, can I mama mm. now? Yeah. So if you no know, feel go call mm. mama, sit down, say mama, see, mm. see, see. At the end of the day, you're picking at the sea. If you know mm. feel do one, then yeah. So but oh, this boy. is the thing now. Everything still boils down to like the communication. At the end of the day, it's like mm. Baba. You know, my mother tells me she no like babe. Yeah. I mean, come on, man. Even courtesy the man, the mm-hmm. least you can do is tell me why. Why? Yeah, obviously. Yeah. And if your reason not valid, or for, you know, say perception also matters. Mm-hmm. For example, now, like you said, you might say this babe did legal space her whole life. Yeah. You go kind and go. Let's say you come from you know um, a more rural part of the country because yeah. Lagos is not like the essential. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, urban yeah. city for Nigeria, right? Sure, yeah. So maybe say, maybe say you come from one small you know, village somewhere, you come go to Lagos, make her come mm-hmm. meet this girl, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and this girl maybe the island girl, or she, she you know, she grow for Lagos, child. yeah. She high, she high, you don't tear her since mm-hmm. when she's small. Mm-hmm. You can't carry her go your village now, yeah. And then they expect one traditional, you know, Thank you. typical, you know, local girl, yeah. You can't bring her come. She wear her normal or make your yeah, hair. You want the boss bridge? She can't decide. Say okay, she did at at home, now. yeah. Come go wear she... bum shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Where's her house? That's a happy family. Ah, everybody no. can sit down on top of her mother now. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Girl. So and now it just be a wrong perception. That's it. Because from she where be she bad girl, from, not yeah, no, matter how she, she come, Right, from where should they come from? A common place, you know, yeah. be anything. Mm-hmm. And people they go beach now with you know all that. So she did house, she feels you know at home or she feels well, she did her house or whatever. Yeah. But then they will use that perception, mm. they judge them. Yeah. And on the basis of that alone, they will decide, say, ah, no, this girl is a bad girl. They've never yeah. known her for a day. day. Right. They will say she's a bad, bad girl. girl. But you don't yeah. deliver us with her. You don't see her, probably. Look, all these things still boils down to the individual. Anybody will really decide, say, one marry. In a long term commitment, yeah. if you know if you put your shit together, yeah. decide whether or not this is not the choice that you want me, and convince everybody around you. Then uh, everybody does fall back. Fall back, yeah. But you're an extension of your mother. Exactly. Yeah, no, good. Good. Okay. Ah, this is the sweet. No, the so, sweet. so my point oh. is, my point exactly. Like my mama, my mama, they always the she know me can marry Igbo, blah blah blah, for whatever reasons. So I don't. When I do young, she don't give me big knock on my head. You understand? Because I make. A joke about marrying an Igbo girl. My mom is Delta or Robo, precisely. Mm. Yeah, so she don't give me big knock. You understand? But now, I did 30. I did wait for her. If the girl where I won't marry an Igbo, and my mother don't want me to marry her, I'll go ahead with the marriage. Why? Why? Because I love this person. My mother don't live her life. You understand? Mm. And I go live my life. Mm. May God forgive me. My mother can die anytime, right? After she don't leave. Man say she do 80. She do 70. She do 90. I go go on with my marriage and my life. You understand? Mm. It happened now. She feel actually make me no marry this good Igbo woman. Mm. Come make me go find one stupid Yoruba girl. <laughs> mm. Get mm. the context. Yes, Yoruba yes, people yes. are not stupid. Yeah, yes. like, I'm get, saying get the point. she feel make me leave the good Igbo woman mm. because say she won't make I marry a Yoruba person. I can't go end up with a stupid Yoruba person. You understand? A marriage is not a joke. Now me no waiting I see for this woman where I won't settle down with. Mm. No be my mama. Mm. You understand? Mm. If I don't see the happiness here, my mama no see I'm no be my mama go live with this person. Now me go live with the person. Mm. You understand? Mm. So I no care waiting my mother think. I, all my own, I have to go meet my mama say, Mommy, and the person you are won't marry be this so. You understand? Mm. You don't raise a child, and I mean you raise. If you believe, say you don't raise me well, you suppose believe in me, say I suppose no waiting I go pick. Mm. But so well, like I said, look, all these things are very relative, if you yeah. ask me, because you know it's all about context. But this is a very valid point, you know. Mm-hmm. If the reason, because you know, like, you have a lot of stereotypes, right? Yeah. A lot of stereotypes. And you know the thing about stereotypes is like, it's not necessarily the majority. Yeah, sure. Of course. It's just a stereotype. So, yeah. for example, now, uh, anywhere we will go in Nigeria, once you mention, mention Nigeria, they will say, ah, credit card scams. Yeah, but sure. But the yeah, majority yeah. of Nigerians no, they don't in the diaspora, no, the they majority of Nigerians in the diaspora are doing excellently well. 
excellently well. In fact, they're doing exceptionally well. It's the standard. If you go out, like, you know how Nigeria be now. We expect excellence. Uh-huh. But what are we known for? Credit cards, cards. Yeah. Fraud. That's what we're known for. Yeah. Nobody talks about music. Nobody uh-huh. talks about uh, educational, you know, uh, capacity. Nobody talks. Well, go UK, go US, go any of these places. Doctors. Uh-huh. The most intelligent family in the UK. Uh-huh. That, no, that they achieve different things every day, right? But there's a stereotype. And that stereotype has been set in stone and it's going to take a very, very deliberate effort for us to be able to even attempt to change that stereotype. Yeah. It has to be deliberate. It'll not be just a drum like say, okay, let's live and let live. No, no, no. But that stereotype has been ingrained in the minds of the average, you know, observer. And once you mention Nigeria, the first thing that comes to mind is can't. Yeah. So is that stereotype correct? No, absolutely not. Mm-hmm. More Nigerians, the majority, the vast majority of Nigerians are not scammers. Now, one small percentage. So, what he's saying is, well, if you might be talk about, okay, no marry this girl because she be evil. Mm-hmm. She might be the best girl for him. She doesn't yeah. know that because yeah. she doesn't see beyond the fact that this woman is evil. Yeah. Based on whatever stereotype way she gets. Mm-hmm. So, even her thought is being, you know, it's been clouded by this, you know, stereotype. So she can't see beyond that. She not say, oh, ah, what's in this Igbo girl they do? Or what's in this? No, no. Oh, Igbo, that's where she draws the line. Yeah. And then you can't leave that Igbo girl and I go marry you, Yoruba girl. That might not necessarily be the best person for you. But the mama now, you don't do But the mama will do okay with that as long as it's not Igbo. Yeah. Because all she sees at that point is say, ah, now Yoruba girl, fine, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. Or, oh, where's this girl from our community is married? So I can't fault his, you know, his decision. I can't fault his choice. Because, like I said earlier, a lot of parents they live their lives through their kids. Right. Because otherwise, why me why I don't deal with person, why I don't choose this person? Me mm-hmm. say now, obviously, you know, you cannot ignore the counsel of your parents. You no, of course not. You can't do that. You can't do that, right? They're still your parents and at least would like to assume that they want the best for you, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we'll know if you ignore that one. But again, like I said earlier, if the only thing which she fees see now the, tribe, now the fact say this girl are evil or this yeah, girl yeah. are Yoruba or this girl, are, you know whatever you know tried yeah. again many stereotypes so for me it's a stereotype thing it's very simple a lot of stereotypes are being when you say asians ah the mm-hmm. sabi mats i've seen a lot of dumb asians mm-hmm. when you say no not true now yeah no indeed right america is supposed to be what's that thing they say um uh, i don't know what do you think when you talk about america it's supposed to be uh, the most advanced country in the world mm-hmm. bra i've seen a whole lot of dumb motherfuckers in the states man like mm-hmm. bro you know how dumb Americans are. <laughs> you know, see, you understand me. So, this is not the some issue. Some of these, some of these stereotypes. Yeah. See, ah, me and you, far mm-hmm. where we come from. What's up? Well, obviously, you see you know, now, uh, right? So, so we'll be friends. Stereotype. We'll be, we'll be guys we'll be for how many years? Nah, but if you want to go, if you want to go back, they want to go marry new people. But now this is even different, right? Because for her, it's just her personality. Ibos and you're about to marry. Steady. No, no, very rarely though. Yeah, but I don't in the traditional I, I don't sense know. Of I don't words. know. No. I don't know. You know, see, like for our own now, mm-hmm. like zero. It just be like even for them within the Igbos now. They get right the now. they get the um the outcast people and all of that. With this one that you mm-hmm. know go just feel married these ones. Right. Yeah. So if you mm-hmm. go bring that type come now with the mother say no now. Mm-hmm. And that becomes a whole different conversation. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. most of the time, man, I don't know. And just like I think what this girl said, if you go ahead, go marry the girl. Mm-hmm. Oh boy, the mama no go just you go look and say they very easy like just after us mm-hmm. i'm the one marrying her we are going to be away from family and all of that but yeah mm-hmm. you yourself you know go like her so the whole thing is i don't mm-hmm. know but they but all these be. things they possible in today's society because like i said we've, look the world is different now yeah that's the world it, is fact. very very different now that time we they fact. all live for the same community so you don't get time to even come out if go you find you one if you get somewhere they knock your wife your neighbor will, will hear say you did knock your wife that year yeah, yeah. everybody for compound will not say okay i just got color wife yesterday right right so different time now yeah and the world is so man, just look at just go back and look at 20 years ago mm-hmm. when gsm come nigeria maybe 2001 uh, there about yeah about 2000 yeah 2000 yeah 2001 there about when gsm come nigeria yeah so prior to 2001 how many people can get landlines for their house first of all just did they go house go from q now right exactly call, yeah. so that time anybody will get landline for the yeah if you get anybody with they out of state 
you know, or where they're out of country, diaspora, whatever. They, they, nah, they will come now. They will not write letter first. Send the letters. I will call so you on social day by social time. So when that time is, you go sit down and wait for the phone. You go house, you wait. Maybe answer phone. When the phone rings, ring, you go pick up. You go pick up. You yeah. pick up. So, so anything where you do, you, you have color, to outgrow when that ID, stuff. When caller yeah. ID came out, mm-hmm. that time if you pick call, hello, who is on the line? Mm-hmm. Who am I speaking to? Yeah. But now they can't get caller ID. Your phone rings. You don't know who to call you. Yeah. And it was a big thing back in the day. So I'm looking at. Between 2001, this is 2023, in just the space of 22 years, look at the phantom leap we've made yeah. in technology. That's how rapidly the world is changing. So a lot of these so-called stereotypes, a lot of these things that we say, they still they define the thought process of our parents today. Yeah. If you really, really want to go forward in life, you have to ignore. But yeah. at the same time, they're still your parents, so you don't want to you know, put yourself out there. But make a little life for you, eh? Nothing they pass, you know, nothing will happen. All those things they, they will tell you say, if you know this one, if you know this one, mm. uh, not that one, that one, that one, not that one. Nothing they happen. <laughs> nah, that, nothing they happen. Oh, but in this whole because thing, I've man, seen I a lot know, of people with the diaspora. I've seen a lot of people with the diaspora. I've seen a lot of people with the diaspora. I've ah, <clears throat> I'm about to die. This one or this one or that one happen. No? They can't tell you, say, may you leave what you do. Obviously, in some very rare situations, it's like, Anyways, make I not even get into all that one too much. Yeah. The point I'm trying to make is like I've seen people who say they don't for their side, they don't they don't condemn them to you know misery and suffering or whatever. As yeah. a result of say they no come back on do certain traditional rights so they're supposed to perform. They're still waiting to die. They have not died. <laughs> you understand? They have not died. Because the world is not the way we think it is. A lot of the things we would believe before, we don't realize, oh boy, it's not be rocket science, not just, yeah, boy, you know, it will, it will, but yeah. Will, 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 <clears throat> maybe they don't cancel me. Would it cancel you for what? Even, even, even Bible talk as a man or man, a problem, but right now, that's eh? the number one thing. Yeah. Oh no, that thing now only for, <laughs> in Africa, we don't subscribe. No, let's be no, honest. No, but you know what I'm saying now, like gays in day condemn for Bible now, eh, but, but right th- now, even them say they say that waiting legit with that. No, that's not for them. <laughs> no, that's not for that's but the Bible now. don't give us, that's what I'm saying. Bro, so they don't give their Bible see, to themselves. See, this is not the issue where people they give, no, 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 no. The majority the of no, the majority of even the so-called Western countries mm-hmm. don't just subscribe to this thing. No, that's what I'm it's just a start and a movement now. So that they, that, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So my point being the that fact that they even bring that taboo, that taboo yeah. now that I say, so that's now, just my point. Now it's, yeah. it's uh, more or less more acceptable. Mm-hmm. That's just my point. But generally though, like I've Definitely, Baba. This whole marriage thing, right? Even if you want to bring someone home, and then uh, uh, you you have, yeah. Even if you want to bring someone home, and then you feel like the parents no will accept or anything like that, man. I pray we are all on the same page, man. No matter what mm. it is, try to talk to your parents. Like now, your parents mm. born, you know, and then bring you come this world and everything. To some extent, they should be able to understand with you that okay, this is this is mm. what I really want to do, you know. All that, then mm. they didn't give you the approval because getting married without the approval of your parents, mm. wow, like, yeah, now your wife, now your wife, mm. now you get them, but it just makes more sense if everybody mm. be on the same page. You get me, yeah, maybe yeah. they don't be like that. But and parents, too, I understand for a fact that parents want the best for their kids, and it, yeah, like plenty of factors they will parents also look out to. Now, we are just limiting it to the fact of say they say tribe because mm. of a uh, within that boy you talk you get. So, if mm. the reason you are giving me that based on tribe, you know. I don't talk this thing for one of the reactions we've been doing, where a person insults me for Twitter and say, why I could say they don't marry a person with madness run for the house. Mm-hmm. You get yeah. So mm-hmm. you get plenty other things. That mm-hmm. thing they happen is genetic. You get me? So the uh, parents might not have that. Your kid, now the kids will go pick that syndrome, come out. Mm-hmm. It's genetic. So all those type of things, nine parents, they check. So you get plenty other things where they go check, come up with. No, I'm just saying, bro. You get plenty other things where parents go check. And then mm-hmm. if they can give you a reason where it makes sense. The point of this whole thing is what reason mm-hmm. your parents will give you will go make you say no. Okay, to now, marrying the girl. Fine, you get that's the point. A different yeah. Conversation. Yeah, yeah, no, that's the, yeah. actually the conversation. Yeah. Because, because now we are limiting it to the fact that they mm-hmm. say tribe and all of that. Of course, mm-hmm. tribe to us now we don't identify that one say. Yeah, no, but these are the sense. more commonly listed oh. excuses where excuses parents they give, give as to why, why you should not marry yeah. But the so point here you know, is consent, like any said, other point they obviously where parents will give. It all depends on the reason. Fine. So so what reason do you think? Me? Yeah. Say your parents will give you. Where you yeah. go, where you go, mm-hmm. no go marry the girl where you make up. What's the what scenario? For example, for example, now if we do the traditional way, they go send uh, 
uh, devil's advocate, go to the place, go find out. And they okay. say, okay, this one's a very madness with their family. Yeah. In today's world, I mean, well, with the kind of education that I have, mm -hmm. I have come to the understanding that a lot of these things that what you call mental health disorders, mm -hmm. right? So for some people, they get depression for their family. Some yeah. people, they get Alzheimer's for their family. Yeah. For some people, they get... Like, there's so many different, you know, uh, medical conditions where cool. some people get for their family. But that year, mm -hmm. they could just say, ah, this is madness is wrong for their family. Yeah. So your parents might not have, you know, enough information to be able to convince you as to you know the genetic you know mm, implication yeah, sure, sure. what, or what they might no, not no, even, this one they we reason, we go reason them in layman right, right exactly everybody will so yeah, no, but even they themselves now, yeah. right they themselves might not even understand what's right. going on but just no say shaman madness involved for this family. family yeah right so if that is kind of the situation with the noise that i have i can easily find out whether really the problem with david if it's genetic mm -hmm. if it's you know if it's not genetic mm -hmm. all those different things yeah but like obviously health concerns are huge Right. They're huge. Like, you know, we like situation. If we do normal, you know, genotype, blood, blood group, all those things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you don't get compatibility, mm -hmm. resistance factor, all that shit. Yeah. Bro, like, it's a, it's, it's a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. You don't want to commit yourself to a life of, you know, misery. You say you're going in and out of emergency rooms trying to solve one problem or the other. Right. So, that's a valid excuse. Cool. If you give me health reasons, mm -hmm. you know, and it's verifiable, yes, of course, that's a valid excuse. Now, yeah. it could be mutual separation i would cool. tell the babe look this is not what's up yeah you'll be this and be that it can't work period right. cool. you understand yeah if they get um, um any other say like for example right uh -huh. so you get some kind situation so maybe like your family or this family and that other family uh -huh. gets some kind of history yeah you know like some very deep, very deep you know, history, history yeah. you say yeah. it's not going to serve anybody any good if yeah. you go ahead with that marriage uh -huh. You know, yeah. I've had situations like that. Yeah, sure. Family, like, yeah. You know, we say it just doesn't serve anybody. Mm -hmm. There's no medical implication. There's no child. I just say but I just this say family no go. Just family do no go 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 yeah. along with this family for certain reasons. Yeah. Because now you can go ahead out of your own selfish interest and marry this person. Mm -hmm. And I would be happy and I would be okay. Yeah. But you're going to live in isolation outside of your family. The girls cool. will live in isolation outside of her family. But the rest and of their lives are not And more down, importantly, yeah. they're going to piss off you know, so many people within those, you know, extended families. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, in most cases, now your children will suffer the consequences. Yeah. Because now they don't have the kind of support structure that they're supposed to have. Mm -hmm. You know, given that in Nigeria, you know, we have this communal way of living. Right. You know, and you don't want to put yourself in that position. So right. when it's all said and done, mm -hmm. the last point I want to make about this thing. Yeah. Um, we do love and respect our parents. True. Um, generally speaking, a lot of times parents will look us at all these children or they call us all this internet generation or yeah, anything yeah, yeah. where you bring up. When I have conversations with my parents, they're like, ah, social media makes everything look looks worse. Like mm -hmm. when we complain about the country or when we talk about certain things that obviously are not, you know, right? They always, they still have this perception that we're kids, they know better mm -hmm. and we don't know anything. Right. That's the way they look at us. In all sure. honesty, that's the way our parents look at us. So if there's any parents out there that are listening, just a single, you know, Friendly advice, <laughs> Brooklyn <laughs> Noves. With all due respect, eh? I agree all of now. We should learn how to talk with our children, as opposed to talking to our children. Mm. That's a very big difference. Mm. Very big difference. A lot of times, when these parents come and they give their opinions, they're not talking with you. Yeah. They're not having a conversation with you. Mm -hmm. They are talking to you in the yeah. sense that I'm telling you, you cannot marry this girl. Yeah, that's a non-starter. If you have a conversation with your kids like that, uh, there's already too much animosity going into that conversation. The tendency is that they'll never listen to you. Yeah. So if you have legitimate concerns, if you have genuine concerns, you talk with them. Mm -hmm. We reason this matter together. Even for Bible, they come say, "Come, let us reason <laughs> together." So I come in peace. But yeah, but <laughs> but man, I don't know. But I get your point. Valid and all that, but. Man, this thing huge, man. Yeah. This thing huge, man. The reason is that parents too guys understand so okay, they're picking also getting life to live and all of that. And then the reason is that they beyond some certain superficial <clears throat> things. Yeah. So if yeah. it happens that the reason we are giving is a very valid reason, yeah, fine, that makes sense, then we can work with that. But the reason is just tribe, then we should see past that whole tribe thing, you know. Mm -hmm. So, anyways. Yep. As it is, man, honest bunch, you guys have been doing a lot of talking and it makes sense. So, <laughs> we'll be reacting to. Yeah, yeah, of course. All your topics will make sense. And then, shout out to Nedu, shout out to Husband Material, everybody on the show. 
Nice. Shout out to it. Cool. You... <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So, <laughs> right. So, <laughs> thank you guys again. <laughs> Definitely. I know you guys are still going to come back mm-hmm. to watch. And then if you stayed up this long, please subscribe, like, share, you know, call your friends to come, like, support, show the love. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.